In this video, we are going to find the races in this transition table, decide whether they're critical or not, and also find any cycles that exist. The first race is identified in row 1 as the stable state moves to the right to the unstable state that exists when there is a change from 0, 0 to 0, 1 in the input conditions. Notice that both values inside the squares have changed and although this has also happened in column 3 and 4, these do not constitute a race because a race will only occur when moving from a stable state to an unstable state either to the left or the right of it. In fact, the column 3 square in row 1 will not be accessed at all in the normal operation of the device since the row 1 only contains one stable state. So we have successfully found race 1. In this slide we can see how we can move from a stable state. We can either move to the right or we can move to the left. Since the stable state is on the left side of the transition table, moving to the left will wrap around as shown with the arrow. No other movements are possible in the first row. Now let us look for race 2 and race 3. These occur as shown in the second row. The second row contains two races, as you can see. Moving to the left from the stable state in the second row will cause a change of both of the bits inside of the square. One will be changing from a 0 to a 1 and the other will be changing from a 1 to a 0. And this will cause the race. When we move to the right, as you can see, we get the same condition occurring. So whether we move to the left or the right in the row 2, we will have a race. So how can we tell now if these races are critical or non-critical? Looking at the columns, we will see how many uh, stable states exist in the column. When we move to the left, we find that we have two stable states in that column in row 1 and row 3. And when we move to the right, we see that we only have one stable state at the bottom in row 4. So, where there is only one stable state, we have a non-critical race. And where there is two stable states, we have a critical race. Two possible outcomes mean critical. A single outcome, as in race 3, no matter which, no matter what happens in race 3, as you can see, we are going to have a single outcome. We are going to end up with stable state 2, which is in the fourth row. Okay, so now we come down to row 3. And row 3 has no races. Can you see why? If you can't, go back and follow what we've said before and you should be able to see why there are no races in row 3. Now in row 4, we have one race. As you can see, even though we have two stable states, we only have one race. And it is a critical race because when we move to the left from column 3 to column 2, there are two different possible outcomes of that race. Two possible outcomes will always mean that the race is critical as shown. 
Now, what about a cycle? A cycle can occur in a column with only one stable state. Okay? And we see that column 4 satisfies that condition, but so does column 3. So why do we have a race a crit a, why do we have a cycle in column four instead of column three? Well, as you can see, the values in column four change. We move from one to three to two, as shown. Finally, if a column has no stable states at all, then the, the whole device is unstable since it will, in fact, oscillate.